You know, we woke up this morning excited about the uh, opportunities, you know, that we have in uh, changing leadership at the state level for the 198. And uh, I'm going to polling places, you know, and as I'm going to polling places, I'm, I'm recognizing that people have really paid attention to this race, which I think is an exciting thing because we don't have politically an exciting race at the top of the ticket. Right. And so understanding that uh, residents are, are really paying attention to the local issues is, is uh, it's a great thing to see. How are you? Um, That's my brother. Okay. Thus far, we've had people putting out literature, said that I canceled the Ogons Jazz Festival, and that was the governor. I didn't have anything to do with that. There have been some other things that we have gotten reports where they have had confrontations with some of the workers at the polling site. And like I told them, I said, don't get in any confrontations. Just let people come in and vote if they try to stop. <laughs> Thank you. I like to talk about what I think, the things I've done, the things I like to do. First, obviously, jobs, creating jobs, business development. Secondly, the issue of education. Thirdly, the issue of public safety. Fourth, health care. And I think what I've demonstrated here at Ogons Avenue gives you a little sense that there's been a continuation of it. We have a groundswell of folks that are right grassroots community folks. So when you go actually go around to the polling places, the good feeling that I have is that the folks who are working the polling place on my behalf are folks who live and or work in that community. So it's not like importing somebody from West Philadelphia to come up to an area that they're not familiar with or coming up to the folks they're not familiar with. So having people who live in the community, work in the community, and are working for me at those polling places I think are going to be beneficial when it's all said and done.